Conrail's unit train business is primarily moving coal to electric power generating plants for utilities and industries in the U.S., Canada, and overseas. Power generation factors, such as the cost and supply of natural gas, oil, and nuclear fuels, power wheeling over wire networks, deregulation of utilities, domestic and foreign coal supplies, transportation, and use of hydro stations all have impact on our competitive position. Despite all this, demand for coal is expected to grow through the year 2005, while our fleet of open-top coal cars will shrink due to high replacement costs and retirement of old cars. To grow our unit train business as coal demand increases, we will have to better meet our customers' needs and move more coal with fewer cars. This can be accomplished through train set management. Train set management is not some fancy computer doing wonderful things inside some black box all by itself. It is actually a new method of identifying, tracking, and manipulating our car fleet and trains. We will work to keep trains sized with the correct number of cars and avoid mixing different equipment types. We are starting train set management to help run the railroad more efficiently. No longer will simply throwing together a bunch of coal cars for loading will be the way we do business. Our customers need coal shipments delivered on time with the ordered number of cars and the correct type and size of cars. Conrail needs the same. This video will show what will help us grow our business and provide more equipment efficiencies. Growing business is good for all of us. It is our job security. Conrail's unit train service group is working to significantly increase car utilization. Moving unit coal train shipments over the railroad generates over $500 million in revenue annually for Conrail. Unit trains remained intact from the loading point to the unloading point and can avoid the hump yards entirely. The cost of rehandling cars en route is eliminated. If we expect to remain a player and continue to provide quality delivery of unit trains, we must pay attention to train size and car configuration. Our vision is to operate the proper train for the proper destination. Train set management is crucial to this vision. Unit trains, which have multiple car types, are inefficient. Although almost all open top hoppers can be unloaded in a rotary type dumper, bottom drop dumpers can only handle cars equipped with bottom doors. Cars without bottom doors have to be rotary dumped. Historically, normal switching operations and lack of attention produced mixed trains. Train set management is being implemented to avoid this problem. Receiving a train for loading, which contains several car types and or sizes mixed through it, is our supplier's biggest headache. High volume loadouts, such as Consoles Bailey Mine, located south of Pittsburgh in our Mon Valley region, lose efficiencies when the employee who loads the coal has to be watchful of what type of car is being loaded. Cars vary in size by height, length, cubic capacity, and load limit. Bailey Mine normally loads six full coal trains daily. Trains are loaded under continuous motion, and any interruption in loading can cause delay and inefficiency for both the mine and the railroad. Bailey is equipped with a belt scale, but the loadout operator is dependent largely on his own technique when attempting to control the amount of coal loaded into the cars. One of the biggest problems we have, when you've got tub cars, two different size door cars, flat bottoms, but when you've got a mixture of cars, you never really get to see what your tonnage was at. Like if I've got two tub, two doors, you know, I'm not sure exactly where to load anything. We've got lines on our chute, and you, you've got a good guess where to start loading that. But when you've got a mixture of cars, you know, you load the whole train, and you're still not really sure if you've overloaded some cars or underloaded some cars. I might have 10 tubs in a row, one door car, 10 more tubs. And if I miss that door car, which is very easy to do, I'll overload it. Because on that particular car, you know, I would need to load it lighter than I load a tub car. Other mines are not so fortunate to even have a belt scale. And loading at these mines is strictly dependent on the experience of the tipple operator. 
Weights can vary significantly under these circumstances. Here you see mine 84 with state-of-the-art computerized batch weigh and loading equipment. With an adjustment on the operator's control panel, the tipple will load exactly the proper amount of coal into each car. The operator will set the loading for each car based on the smallest carrying capacity in the train so as not to overload these cars. Running trains with cars loaded below capacity is inefficient and expensive. Running trains with cars overloaded is dangerous and unacceptable. Train set management is the answer. Because bridges and track segments are certified for only allowable tonnage, weight restrictions over particular traffic lanes must be adhered to for safety of our personnel, equipment, and physical plant. This three-door bottom drop hopper has a maximum load limit of 263,000 pounds, while this four-door bottom drop quad car is capable of loading out at 286,000 pounds. Let's look at what using the wrong car can do to efficiency. We would misutilize this expensive high-volume coal gun if we sent it to a destination which has a weight restriction below the car's maximum load limit. That would mean that the car could go underloaded by as much as 10 tons of coal. Moving 10 of these cars underloaded would then require us to carry an additional car in the train. Moving 100 of these cars would result in 10 additional cars. Conrail moved almost 6,800 loaded coal trains in 1995. If we had to add 10 more cars to even half our trains, we would have moved 34,000 more cars than we had to. To accomplish this, Conrail would have had to purchase over 1,000 additional cars at $55,000 each, or $5.5 million. Coal revenue is gained by moving tons, not cars. To reduce expenses and avoid purchasing new equipment, it is our aim to use and turn our fleet of cars more efficiently. Train set management is crucial to accomplishing this. Conrail's unit train service group is now in a position to bring this under control. Through development of train set management, we are now able to better identify and manipulate our equipment fleet. Trains will be gathered by car type and sized to meet current business needs. Initially, the building of the purified train sets will be accomplished in the hump yards like Conway. Shire Oaks Yard on the north end of the MGA is being upgraded and will soon act as the unit train's funnel yard. It is here that unit trains will be maintained by car type and train size. You now see new empty train symbols. The symboling is not to be kept a secret. The new symbols can help all of us at Conrail to identify what each train is, its destination, its car type and carrying capacity, its train set identifier, and its train size. Never before could everyone on the railroad tell exactly what was in a hopper train. At a glance, the empty train symbol tells a lot about your train. Below the surface, the same symbol helps us ensure that the right train set is being assigned to the right loading requirement. We will constantly monitor the empty trains by the AEI scanners to detect discrepancies in car types and train sizes. We will be able to measure how many cycles any particular train has completed in any given period, and it is hoped that future refinements in this train set management will allow us to create preventative maintenance schedules for our train sets. All this adds up to better utilization and a more stable position for the company and all who work here. How can you help? Be watchful when building trains for mismatched cars. Check car counts for verification. If possible, leave oddballs out of your train. Notify yard masters, train masters, or train dispatchers of your findings. This information will be passed along to our 24-hour unit train expediter desk in Philadelphia for handling. Please help the Unit Train Service Group and all of Conrail achieve success in train set management.